Oh, I um, just to say before my question, it's great to see that both you heroes for me growing up in the in the nineties, uh, that you're both uh, really friendly with each other, and it's great because I read both your autobiographies, and I think it's really commendable that you patched up your differences and you can rock. Can I just tell you that? That's lovely, sir. Do you have a question to follow? That's fine. It, it won't get any better. <laughs> Marriage breakup with a kid like parents divorcing, I was very upset. But anyway, it's all, it's, all, it's all sorts of that's great. I got the hands. Uh, so the question is Do you reckon in about 10, 15, 20 years that the only test group will be the Ashes? Because I'm very worried that it would be. They will be. Do you, do you think it's heading that way? It's a, it's a very vital question. Um, we've had a great summer. It's interesting actually because obviously I think it's safe to say we would prefer the Ashes to anything else that's happened in the last three months. And being around that Ashes series this year was just brilliant. Um, you know, the entertainment, the atmosphere, the whole thing, even just sort of going down for a while for the result. And the moment it finished, I remember sort of seeing you know, the promo on Sky for you know, tomorrow, the 100. I thought, no, I won't be there. You know, it's, just, it's a sort of generational thing, yes, and I'm prepared to keep an open mind on that. But following what we'd had with something like the hundred, um, just didn't seem to be what I was going to watch, in, in, in essence. So yeah, the pressure is on, because there are going to be franchises coming up in Saudi, um, that, that's on the cards any moment now, um, there will be others coming through, so the pressure on time for all the best players in the world with white ball franchise cricket against traditional, good, solid, entertaining, historic test cricket pressure on time is going to be a real squeeze. Um, and it might not be 20 years. It could be five years. I mean, this is my big fear, actually, is that the powers that be don't have the power to be. So the ICC, bless it, is a nebulous, useless conglomerate of people kowtowing to one nation. And they're kowtowing to franchise cricket. And their efforts to, to keep test cricket are frankly futile. So it relies on people like us with the love of it to, to try and sort of fly the flag for it as best we can. It relies on Sky and you know, the guys who loved being part of that series this year yep. and gave it everything, gave it you know, superb coverage of course. It relies on all that to keep that flag flying. I, I want to give a quick thought to, from Gucci on this and uh, uh, um, one last question before um, we break from this I, I'm not, I haven't got a lot to add to what David said. I think he's spot